Okay, today we'll be opening up this Fleet Guard oil filter, number LF16242, and this Baldwin oil filter, number B160. And I got this Baldwin oil filter at Zorro.com for $7.24 plus shipping, but you may be able to find it cheaper somewhere else. And I got this Fleet Guard oil filter for free. Yep, a generous viewer who works in the heavy duty trucking industry from Nashville, Tennessee, sent me this oil filter. Thank you. And these two filters are gonna duke it out. It could get ugly, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. This is a network. You gotta do the silicone, be nice and tight. Get your hand right here. So trace your hand right here. Okay, let's start with the fleet guard. We'll start with the box. Description oil filter made in USA. And that's about it on this box. Doesn't have anything else on it. Let's open her up. Date code. F05P04D1. This is printed on. And right here it also says made in USA. She has seven inlet holes. Looks to be a silicone and drain back valve. Metal core with louvers. Bypass valve down below. And about three, maybe four grooves there. Nitro rubber gasket. Design you're pretty good. Pretty thick also. Okay, let's go Baldwin. We'll check the box. The box just has a website here. And made in USA. That's about it for this box. Alright, let's open this filter up, see what it looks like. And the date code 12092-1154. Small, small rating and on here it says somewhere made in USA this is also printed on this filter also has seven inlet holes looks to be a nitro rubber anti drain back valve metal core louvers bypass valve down below and also about th three three or four grooves there and nitro rubber gasket which comes off a little bit easier also pretty thick. Base plates looks very similar. All right, let's open these two filters up and uh, see what they look like inside. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Baldwin weighs 267.3 grams. The Fleet Guard weighs 238 grams. And look at their gaskets. The gaskets look identical to me. Look at them up close here. The only difference is the uh, marking on here. This one's for the fleet guard. Baldwin on the right. Otherwise they look the same. Base plates. Baldwin weighs 100 grams even. The fleet guard weighs 99.6 grams. Let's look, take a look at these guys up close. Same amount of grooves for the threads. Same amount of inlet holes. Same size also. They look pretty identical except for the color. Any drain back valves. Nitro rubber for the Baldwin. And silicone for the Fleet Guard. And they both cover up the holes nice. Okay, and the Baldwin has this plastic insert. We got the filter media. The Baldwin weighs 87.7 grams. The Fleet Guard weighs 76.2 grams. Let's take a look at the Fleet Guard. We got a metal crimp seam. I counted 60 pleats. Little excess glue right here. Metal end caps. Bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 12 PSI. And the pleats are nice and clean, nicely spaced. And I reached out to the manufacturer about this filter. And this is what they sent me. I'll post it up on the screen right now. It's interesting, this has a micron rating of 98.7% at 17.6 microns. 
They also tell me it's made out of a cellulose microglass blend media. Okay, let's look at the Baldwin. Baldwin has a glued seam right here. I counted 55 pleats, so five less pleats. So, and the Baldwin's got a bypass valve right here, which has a setting of 20 psi. And the Baldwin is a cellulose media with a nominal micron rating of 18 and 40 absolute. Also pretty deep pleats. Okay. Baldwin has a coil spring. 10.6 grams. And the fleet guard has a stamp leaf spring. Which weighs 7.4 grams. And let's check out the cans. Fleet guard weighs 43.1 gram. Baldwin weighs 55.5 grams. So let's get their thickness. The Baldwin I was getting 0.42 millimeters. Yeah, right there. 0.41 millimeters. Pretty close. And the fleet guard I was getting 0.35 millimeters. 0.34 millimeters. Okay. Let's get their widths. This is the fleet guard. Fleet guard is 2.09 inches wide. The Baldwin is 1.90 inches wide. Well, you got five more pleats with the fleet guard here on my left. Baldwin on the right. Mm, I gotta say, fleet guards are gonna have more filter media probably. What do you guys think? Well, let's cut these filters open and um, stretch them out. See what they look like. Be right back. Okay, so here they are stretched out. And the Baldwin oil filter is 67 inches long. And the fleet guard oil filter is 50 inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. And you got F for fleet guard, which is 0.96 millimeters thick. And B for Baldwin, which is 0.85 millimeters thick. Okay, let's look at them up close. And the Baldwin is a little bit thinner than the fleet guard. The fleet guard is a little bit thicker. Let's take a look at these guys under a microscope. So looking under a microscope, the fleet guard looks like it could probably do a better job at filtering. You could, I can feel this. This isn't as thick as the fleet guard. And I'll show you why the bigger pleats. You got about 23 extra square inches of media with the bald one. And let's look at the rest of the filter. So as you can see, these guys, the inner cores, look at the size difference. This is why you got the bigger pleats with the bald one. But the gaskets are the same. Base plates are pretty much the same. But I give the fleet guard the angel bag valve. And you got a coil spring versus stamp leaf spring. And as far as the cans go, the fleet guard is a little bit thinner than the Baldwin. The Baldwin's a little bit thicker. So what do you guys think about these two filters? And again, I want to thank the viewer from Nashville, Tennessee for sending me this fleet guard oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I open up a new automotive oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Fleet Guard filter media weighs 14.6 grams. The Baldwin filter media weighs 12.6 grams.